Allow me to reference my earlier statement of I don't know. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. Strange... Our fake ass vault key. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. One of them has that shit doesn't come off. Look nope. at Fiona. <laughs> She's been touching too many vault keys, I'm telling you. Look at those hands. Thankfully, she's remembered not to touch her face or any other part of her after touching the vault key. I have to go in. She needs help. Hold on, wait. I have something you can take with you. So this is kind of weird. Like, this is like a massive RV type thing that they're in. It's cool. Yeah, I kind of like it. Also, I really like that uh, loot crate. The OG here's loot a, here's crate. There's a panic attack, clunky device. <laughs> Clicky thing, laser cutter. Yeah, I can. Eyeglass lens. Yeah, I honestly don't think you're allowed to select the thing that's right. I just wanted to see what. Yeah, I, yeah. I figured that out. I just wanted to see what I could scroll through there. Oh yeah, just to see how many choices. Yeah. Like, cause I knew that was it earlier, and I didn't think it would let you select it. I probably had more time to yeah. study everything there. I, was, I panicked. Not another one with that. Sometimes you gotta panic and pick up your eyeglasses. Basically, if you just wait too long and don't make a choice, he just comes over and says it's that one. Also, I really, really wish more things came in loot crates in our lives. Or, especially like the Borderlands style ones. You gotta get close. I like how her outfit too, like she has like cuffs, like sleeves, like a, almost a, like a gentleman's shirt, how they flare out. Her her costume is almost a little too much, it, it's, but it works. It works. Like, it's very steampunk. Almost too much, but ends up being just enough. Yeah, like and she pulls it off, definitely. Hey, guess what? Yep, only choice. Yeah, her costume's definitely a little steampunky, but it works. And like you said, it is almost too much, but... That said, now if I see any Fiona cosplayers, they better goddamn have Robin's egg blue nail polish. If they don't, sorry, fail. That's the thing about Shade, too. At this point, he's just happy to talk to somebody, anybody, and be slapped by them for human contact. Whoa, I just yep. peered out of nowhere. Indeed. And now I'm in Aliens vs. Predator. Shit, hide. Build a distractor bomb. Eh, what's the harm? Oh, you know. <laughs> You've got a new friend. Friend, F-R-E-I-N-D. <laughs> Best typo ever. Whoop. Let me just, uh... <laughs> Yeah, get that on there. Nobody will notice that, right? It's not on the keypad or anything <laughs> that somebody would have to enter to open the shit. Not at all. all right. I'm, sold. Huh. I'm good. Aren't we gonna join your friends? No, we're gonna sit here and play the quiet game. <laughs> <laughs> How did they open it after that was... Uh, somehow the keypad has never really mattered. They just rip it open after that, yeah. Although, I think this is going to go south really quick. Though the other thing, too, is we get to see the other side of what Reese may or may not have actually done to get August to stop. And, wait for it. Come on, man! <laughs> Slightly different from the story he told. I can't see Reese doing that. I can't honestly. either. But to be fair, this is Fiona telling the story now, so I think the truth is somewhere in the yeah. middle. Yeah. I never even thought of that. Yeah, that's her side. Yeah, so I think that's why it's like the actions that you see may not be exactly what happened ever because. This calls to mind a certain X Files episode. Which one? Bad Blood. Ah, yes. Which you see from Mulder's point of view and Scully's point of view. Shaft. 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 Well, that went wrong. Uh, let's talk about Reese's shoes, by the way. What's up with the uh, snakeskin cowboy boots there, Reese? Like a Pandoran cowboy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I 
I like it. And shit's about to go really wrong. Apparently. Bossa Nova. <laughs> the three M's. So, for the record, I still think Bossa Nova would have made a great boss in the regular game. Obviously, he's only in this, but... Oh, shit, Zero. What's up, buddy? Oh, shit. What's up? Dead psycho. He should have at least been in uh, Mad Moxie's Underdome Riot. I feel like he would have fit in Yeah, there. especially with the music, yeah. I like Boston Nova's style, though. Like, he's got that massive speaker in his chest and just blasting stuff. It's over the top, but I mean, shit, it's Pandora. Over the top's kind of what you do. Also, I like that the speaker is actually active, like you can see it doing the thump thump. Yes, these guys are pretty well fucked. As the fact that one of them just fell without a torso indicates. So I gotta say, I thought Zero as a character... Whoa, wait, okay. Okay. Anyway, Zero as a character I thought was super boring until this. Yeah. Like, they... I, I agree completely. Like, they give Zero character he was totally missing in the main game. Because the best you get is he'd bust out a haiku here and there. And her reaction is... I tend to not go for those characters anyway. Mordecai in the first game... Yeah. I suck at that well, style. And, and I feel like Zero is kind of his counterpart. He is, in a way, but Zero is also very different in the sense that Zero is like a... He's good with the sniper, he's good with maybe the pistol, but he's also a melee character. It's really weird how he... Like, not weird, but different in how he was designed. Excuse me, designed differently from Mordecai. Because you have, like, I really think, like, all eight characters, PCs, of, like, the non-DLC PCs are different from each other. Even Axton and Roland, even though they both have the turret, their turrets function very differently. Also, holy shit, badass moment. That is still one of the coolest things ever. Bullet. Just that scene, that shot, that's one of the coolest things ever. Anyway, what you're saying about or the characters being different. I don't oh. I it is funny because the siren was the only class that carried over and the sirens are very different. Yeah, from, they are very different from I each think, other. I uh, think Lilith is more of a defensive character whereas uh, Maya, Maya very has very a more offensive. offensive like power. Yeah. And you have two zerkers but their type of zerking is very different. Brick is like just punching In my things opinion, into a Maya is, is the most badass character in the, in the second game. Certainly. Like her phase lock power yeah. is super useful. You can do a lot of cool shit with that. Like cuz really Lilis was just meant to like phase walk and get her from point A to point B for the most part. Her ability I think it's lame. I, I do too, honestly. Walk. Yeah, it was kind of shitty in the game. Until you can add the elemental power to it, so yeah, when so you go it does in, damage. it does that wave yeah. thing where all the enemies around you... Part of that is just kind of shitty. Everybody else got something cool. Part of that. And, like, I mean, you can actually use an exploit to build the most OP character with her and a submachine gun late in the game anyway, but that's a late game build. But being it's able really to use fun. phase lock against enemies, and then when you gain the power that... If you're playing co-op, you can phase lock your partner from across yeah. the field and to pull them out Bring of the second in, wave yeah. thing. Yeah, That's which awesome. is really useful. But I, I was going to say, too, like, even though Roland and, um, well, going back to the Zerkers, sorry, I mentioned that first. Um, Brick, of course, his Berserk style involves punching things into a fine red mist in his own Which words. I like because I tend to go for, like, yeah. powerful melee attacks above oh. anything else. <laughs> I love this. This is the best <laughs> cutaway scene ever. This is when I knew this game was amazing. Like, this moment right here, when just, like, it cut cold to that scene, and it was so perfect, and it's like, this is when It should have cut right shit. to that instead of yeah. going back into the... Into, like, the zoom in on it, but it's like, no, that's really what happened. I, yeah. This is one of my favorite Telltale games ever. I think they just have nailed it across the board with this series. But, uh, yeah, obviously, uh... Salvador, the other Zerker, gun Zerks, which basically he somehow generates a second gun of whatever he has and goes nuts. So, which is fun. But uh, the commandos, Roland and Axton, they both have turrets, but those turrets do function very differently. 
I also never used them. Yeah. Which, Roland was my, my boy in the first game, so I was like, fuck it, I'll go axe down in the second game, because turrets. Like I said, Brick was my first, and then Lilith I like too. Yeah, Lilith's cool. Uh. We'll get on this. <laughs> I got this shit. Totes. I missed what I was replying to there. Oh, uh, what you were going to do on how to track the case or okay, find well, the money. Okay, well, I've already chosen, so. <laughs> no, you picked a, yeah, it's all choice to do it. Hey, Yvette, what's up? How's your hair doing? I need all the loader bots. Ever. Can you send like 12,000 loader bots, please? Uh, so here's my question. How is there fallout from sending a loader bot to Pandora when if you played Borderlands 2, you could literally sneeze less often while you're playing that game than it sent loader bots at you. Or blink less often than it sent loader bots at you. Hmm. Why is that being tracked that heavily? Well, tracking the money may not be a bad idea. Well, shit, thanks a bit. Your hair is stupid. Yes. I said I liked your hair earlier, and I lied. Fantastic. Oh, thanks for nothing, Yvette. Don't even start. Yeah, I was feeling a little... You know what? That's okay. Because honestly, I mean, what is she really doing for you right now? It's a valid question. However... <laughs> so I was just like, fuck it! Oh yeah, you did. You did find an ID drive. Sure, let's go with that. That's uh, that's a great, uh, great theory. Why are you letting us stall you? Yeah, you know. Just do it. Like you know, you could pull me in at any moment. Okay, now I know we are legit because you uh, shut the door. How that door shut, I don't know. Ouch. Yeah, I don't even want this part, let alone what happens next. You might want to hang on. <laughs> oh, we're hanging on to something, buddy. <laughs> Whoops! Oh! 